Hello everybody, today I'm going to discuss a very vital food for your health. We're going to talk about flaxseed or linseeds. Now what's so vital for our health in linseeds? First of all, they contain plenty of fiber, plenty of amino acids, and more importantly, they contain omega-3, polyunsaturated fatty acids, and the type is alpha-linolenic acid, and then they contain lignans, which contain phytoestrogens. Now, what is the best way to consume linseeds? The best way is to take some seeds. Now, as you can see, my jar is nearly empty. I consume them every single day. At least I try to. I take one tablespoon, I put it in a little grinder, coffee grinder, and I grind it for one minute. One to one minute thirty. And I get a fine powder that heats up a little bit. And that is important because when we do that, we have an enzyme reaction that takes place that eliminates a toxic acid called cyanohydric acid. What you can also do is soak the linseeds overnight and that will have the same enzyme reaction. Now, once we've grinded them, we can put them in some water, some juice, some almond milk and just drink it. And then you'll have all the benefits of the linseeds. If you eat them, they'll go straight through your body and you won't have any beneficial lignans, omega-3 fatty acids, etc. Now, stay away from linseed oil unless you can be 100% sure that it is good quality. The best way is to taste the oil. If you have a little bitter aftertaste, that means that your beneficial food has become a very toxic and poisonous food. Why? Because omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids are fragile. They are sensitive to oxygen, temperature and light. So of course never cook with linseed oil because you have the three factors and you will produce a rancid and poisonous oil. But when we produce the oil, extract the oil from the seeds, we have some pressure, so some temperature, and if there's oxygen, you will get a toxic food. So be very, very careful about the oil. And in the oil, we don't have the lignans. So I definitely suggest to consume the seeds. I actually even keep them in my fridge. So what's so special about these linseeds? They will reduce your blood pressure. So having a even a slightly high blood pressure, even 130 over 90 is too high. So if your blood pressure is a little bit high, this can definitely help. Then what is very important in the linseeds is that we are supposed to have a ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 less than 4. Now, omega-3 and omega-6 are both what we call essential fatty acids. That means we have to find them in our food because we can't make them. So where do we find the omega-3s? In the linseeds. We can find them in some walnuts in some hemp seeds, chia seeds, some green vegetables, and in grass. We don't eat grass, but of course, if your chickens eat grass, you'll have something that's rich in omega-3. When we look at the omega-6, they are much more abundant. We find them in corn, we find them in sunflower, in soja, in canola oil, uh, in all sorts of nuts and seeds, so omega-6 is abundant. So it's very easy to have the bad ratio, especially if you eat industrial food. Because when you eat industrial food, you're going to have food that contains all these sunflower oils and uh, corn oils. So when you eat ice cream with salad dressing, cakes, all those kind of things, you're going to have a high ratio of omega-6. And they are fragile oils, so they will be probably rancid and oxidized. So stay away from industrial food. So to have the good ratio, if you take linseeds every day, that's going to help you. Put some hemp seeds on your salad, that's also going to help. Now what is also interesting in these linseeds is that they will protect you from all sorts of cancers and also hormone dependent cancers. They have what we call a phytoestrogen activity. That is the lignans. What happens is that in our body we have receptors for oestrogen, the alpha and the beta receptors, and they are on the ovaries, in the breast, on the, in the brain, on our bones. And phytoestrogens do not have the same activity as our oestrogens. So they will be in competition for oestrogen, our endogenous oestrogens, for the receptors. 
And what will happen is if they latch onto the estrogen receptor, their activity will be reduced, which means if you have too many estrogens, for example, if you're taking contraception, if you're overweight, etc., you will have too many estrogens. That's, of course, very bad for you. If you don't detoxify well, you will have too many estrogens. And so having these linseeds will reduce your estrogen level. Now, it's very interesting because if you are in menopause and you don't have enough estrogen, we know that when we go into menopause, our estrogen levels go right down. That will affect our bone mass. We will be more depressed. It will increase our cardiovascular disease. So if we take linseeds, even if they have a lower activity, we still have an activity. And so that will boost our mood, our bone mass, etc. So it's highly beneficial. If you are obese, what you must know is that estrogens in our body have to be detoxified by different pathways. So there's the path one, path two, detoxification. And people that are overweight have a tendency to go into the wrong pathway and will produce what we call mutagenic molecules that are still highly estrogenic. So if we want to increase the detoxification in the right pathway and produce molecules that are even protectors for us, we must use these linseeds. What you can also use is black radish and architurks. Those will help you detoxify your estrogens in the right way. Of course, you can measure in your blood test and see what is your level of the good detoxification and the bad one, but it costs 100 euros, so that's not worth doing. Just go ahead, if you're overweight, take your linseeds and you'll be sure to detoxify in the right pathway. So the last thing I wanted to tell you is that lignans, the phytoestrogens, to be active in your body, they depend on your gut. So the phytoestrogens will be transformed if you have good bacteria in your gut to what we call equals, and they are the active molecules. So eating linseeds and having bad bacteria in your gut is not going to work. So be careful about that too. There we are. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. Your comments below as usual. I love to get them. And don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Bye for now.